Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today, I just got a package in the mail. All this is, this whole box was just a kit for installing a torque converter on the go-kart. First step to installing the torque converter would be taking off the old clutch. The clutch was having some issues, so the clutch got super, super hot even after just running it for a couple seconds. I'll show you in just a second here. There we go. Our chain is off. Anyway, as I was saying the other day, I took this clutch clutch off, and I thought maybe some oiling would help with the overheating. But what I found is that our clutch is actually no good. And I'll tell you what, there's supposed to be like a br brass or bronze, whatever. Bear, bearing right here on the crankshaft but as you can see it's not there when I pulled the drum out because it is stuck right inside of the drum and that's not good because the drum is supposed to freely rotate around that bronze bearing but anyway this I have no idea how old this clutch is this engine itself was made in uh, 2009, so uh, it's pretty old, but the clutch, like, I don't know if it's two, from 2009, like, the clutch itself could be off of, say, an older engine, like the original engine off the go-kart, so. There we go. That's all of us on camera, but I got it out. You can see there's a crack on it. And I guess that much deformation was enough to get it stuck inside the drum so it wouldn't like a, uh, so it's just constantly engaged the clutch. So it was either buy a new clutch or buy a torque converter. So I decided to go the torque converter route So I decided to go to the torque converter route because supposedly it gives you better low end torque and uh, just uh, better performance just in the lower RPM ranges. So to start, it came in the mail with this pulley already on there. This is the driven pulley. I'm gonna take it off for now, just for installation's sake. Yeah, so I bought this kit on Amazon for, I think it was like $68 or something like that. And, um, which is pretty cheap if you ask me. So now we just have our mounting plate. It's just kind of made out of cast aluminum. So I'm gonna just slide it on there. Now we're gonna line up holes you can pretty much mount this on it's so now time to actually put this thing together so we got this jack shaft that the tape came with and I'll slide Bolt. 
the bolt on the sprocket hits the mounting plate of the torque converter. So um, we're gonna have to figure something out. Well guys, I came up with an idea for the clearancing issues for the sprocket. Um, my idea is if I just put like a spacer or something that just lifts the whole engine up, like maybe half an inch or something like that, it doesn't have to be much, then the clearancing issues, that would solve them. So uh, that's what I'm gonna do. But uh, first I'm just gonna finish putting on the torque converter on the engine. That there's a washer that came in the kit that I already put on the crane shaft. Then there's a spacer. Uh, and then there's this half of the pulley. Then there's this bronze bearing that just helps keep your belt from wearing. Now we're going to put on our belt. So this side of the belt is like flat, and the other side it has kind of an angle your angled in and you want the angled side to be facing out. So, we got our belt on there. Now we got this thing with these splines. They'll go on the very end of this crankshaft. This part of the pulley will line up with the teeth on that Got our impact gun. And you always want to make sure the kill switch is switched off when you're doing this because you don't want your engine turning over and uh, starting while you're doing this. Then we got. Okay, so this piece of plywood that I found, it's really thin, but I tested it. It should be just the right thickness uh, to get our sprocket to clear. So we only needed a little bit. So I'm almost done with the install and uh, I got the chain just kind of on there. And um, I'm very surprised. It's only 
need, I only need to take out one link, just one link shorter than what it was with the the clutch and the on there instead of this torque converter. So that's pretty surprising. It's now a new day. I had to take a break yesterday because I had to go to work. I got the chain on now. I just need to tension it a little bit. So was getting a torque converter worth it? Well, I would say yes, definitely, without a doubt. In fact, if you have just an off-road go-kart that all you have is for like driving around the yard, I'd say you need a torque converter. I've never thought it could actually help that much. Like I had no idea what I was missing out on. That old clutch was a piece of garbage. You saw like the donuts I was doing and stuff, like the engine would just bog down and die from doing that. Like with the clutch, I wasn't even able to do that. So it definitely feels a lot different when driving because it engages at such a higher RPM. It's just like weird to get used to and it's just weird hearing your engine like at high RPMs. I'm not used to that, but it's really cool. And I definitely recommend getting one next time you, I definitely recommend getting one. So yeah, thank you for watching. Have a good night.